How you doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the beach. As you can see, unfortunately, we're not on Chesil today. As I've not been out for two weeks, obviously my first plan was to get back to Chesil Beach. Unfortunately, it's 28 to 30 mile an hour winds straight in my face and it's lumping down with rain. So I didn't fancy it. So what I've done, as before, we've popped over to the Bristol Channel. I've come down south of Minehead, Porlock Bay, it's no secret. I think most people know where I am. And we're coming out for a smooth hand. Believe it or not, it's still summer and it's been absolutely pissing down and I'm soaked through. But I don't really care because we've got a chance. It's low water now. We've got about a quarter of an hour till the tide starts flooding and we've definitely got a chance. I've got the bait, I've got some rods, we've got the willpower, and hopefully I've got the skill to catch us a few fish. How you doing? It's gonna sing a song to you, Dan. Look, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Wayne, AKA The Shore Hunter. Yes, I know it's cheesy, but it kind of works. And it helps with my coaching, which I'm not actually doing at the moment. So a quick message to everyone that's dropped me an email. I am not getting any time at the moment to go out coaching. So coaching's on hold again. I know I took about three months off. I come back for three or four weeks. It was super busy. We got out and done some great things and now it's back on hold. I'm sorry about that, but I've got this job, which is filming YouTube videos for you. It's more of a passion. I don't get paid for this. Well, I get a tiny bit of money from YouTube, but it's definitely not worth doing, but I love it and it helps you guys out and I absolutely enjoy it, as you know. I've got other jobs outside of this, which you all know about. So unfortunately, for now, I'm not coaching, but I do as much as I can through my videos. So if you keep watching, hopefully you can pick up the tips and the things that you need to help you with your fishing. Back to today. Obviously, I've been away fishing the Sea Angling Classic. I've said before in previous videos, recently when I've done one at home, about my thumb grip here on my mortar pliers and the one where I filmed a video making my smooth hand rig. If you've not seen them, go back and watch them if you want to, obviously you don't have to. But as you know, if you've been watching them videos, I've been away competing in the Sea Angling Classic, which probably or is the biggest boat competition in Europe for 130 grand. And unfortunately we came third, all right? And for our team, if we don't win, Every other position is a loss, so we don't need to talk about that. But it's actually on BT Sports tonight, which is Monday the 3rd, and again on the 10th of July for the second part. So if you like your fishing videos, obviously you do, maybe get onto BT Sports and watch that. But if not, let's go fishing. As you can see, I'm fishing Paulot Bay. I've done two or three videos here before. We love it. I've caught quite a lot of fish here. So hopefully today can be the same. It's just at low water now, when it's just starting to flood. It probably won't fish for about an hour or so. So I'm quite chilled. What I'm gonna do now is bring you back, show you my rigs, which you know all about them by now. They're four foot pulleys with my magic tubing. A little bit different is I'm using my rotten bottom system. We've done this one before, haven't we? I've done it on plenty of videos. I'm sure you know how it works, but I'll just show you briefly. When it's on the rod and it's under tension, it's a lot easier. That's my rotten bottom line. It's 15 pound rotten bottom with a few knots in it, just to make it a little bit weaker. I then bring this up. Should have done this first. Talk amongst yourselves. There you go. The clip, put it through. I know you've seen this before over and over. The little bead goes down, covers both, and there you go. When it hits the bottom, the bead comes up, that drops off, that gets stuck in the bottom. If it does, then I lose that and not the whole setup, especially when I'm hooked into a fish. The last thing I want, at the bottom of this bank, whoa, now that was close. I'm not really getting any luck at the moment, everyone. All right, I've had three weeks off, or almost three weeks off. The weather's been stunning. I come back and it's just raining and super windy. But that's the way it goes. The camera's trying to go over again. Look, there you go. There's my four foot pulley. 
There's my magic tubing on the bottom for resistance. So I'll just run through it. I've got a 3OJ hook to a 4O circle held with my tubing, 90 pound hook length to a swivel, to a bead, a pulley bead, a bead, to a clip, to my splash dang, to my rotten bottom. My rig body is 90 pound just to take the shock of the cast. Right, I'm gonna bring you back. We'll quickly do some baiting up and let's go fishing. It's gonna be hard to film today. Not only have we got the showers, it's pretty windy and the camera is likely to go over at any point and smash up. I've got a brand new camera. I've got some new mods. I've got some brand new mics because last time when I fished Watch It on the harbour, lots of you complained about the sound and that is because I had a fault with my mics. I've got them switched up. So the last thing I want to do is smash my camera up today. So it could be pretty limited, but if I get you in here, hopefully we can get some screaming action and get into the fish because that's the most important thing. Not me in here talking shit and i'm going to do some cooking we've got some nice cheeseburgers i'm going to knock them up for you so if you are a vegetarian don't watch my videos anyway but turn away because there's going to be some lovely meat getting cooked on my barbie bait wise today peeler crabs ready to go so i'm going to fish peeler crab on one and squid on the other. To be fair, the hounds are take squid and peeler crabs, but I've definitely got a good chance of a ray off here. If I'm very lucky, I can get us into a blonde, but normally you get spotted, the odd small eyed, and sometimes, very rarely, for this part of the channel, form back rays, but we've got a chance. My main target today will be gummy sharks, smooth hangs. As you know by now, I absolutely love them. They're a well honest fish. From the moment they take your bait, the rod screams off. That's why I'll have my ratchet on with my clicker. It makes for a great bite and they fight all the way in until you try and pick them up and then they're shaking their heads, jumping around everywhere. They're just great fun. They look beautiful on camera and they're just a nice fish. So what I'm gonna do now is bait up a peeler crab. We've done this lots of times, I know. And if you've seen this before, I'm sorry. But we do have new people joining all the time. And as I said to you, I'm not out coaching anymore. So hopefully I can get enough across on here for free to help you out. Just do this down here, because you've got to watch what you do on YouTube. So I've got a crab here with no claws and no legs. They just fell off, which is good. This one's a little bit. Take the shell off. How you all doing? Hope you're doing all right. Hope you're looking out for yourself. If I'm being honest, I am. But with Glastonbury and a few parties, I'm pretty tired. But yeah, life is good. I can't see any reason for the rest of the year why I take any more time off of filming. So we should have a good straight run of it now. As I said to you before, this is a hobby. It's not a job for me. I can't justify just not having a life just to film videos. I'm sure if I was getting paid millions of pounds, which will never happen by the way, because I'm just like you, just a normal geezer, I could probably justify taking a bit of time off, but I can't. It's just a hobby and I've got to have a life outside of this. Right, there you go. Baytex as before, peeler crab cut in half or three quarters of the way through, flip back like so. I think you know all about this by now. So as of before, it's bottom of the tide. You don't really get any fish here or don't normally get many fish come around the corner until the tide starts pushing probably about two and a half to three hours before high water. So we've got a bit of a wait, but we've had fish before straight away. So it's definitely worth getting here. And obviously it's quite a popular area. 
in this wind direction, there's not really many places to fish on this side without having wind straight in your face. And it's just a nice place to fish. So I like to get down here on low, get myself a nice position, get set up, nice and relaxed. I have three or four rigs made, ready to go. I think you know this by now. Right, what I'm gonna do is pull my tubing down, my circle hook, and there you go. And look at that. And there you go, everyone. I've got crab guts on my new hoodie. Well, it's actually my wife's hoodie. Lucky she doesn't watch fishing videos, so she doesn't know. But look, there you go, all ready to go. What I'm gonna do now, clip that up, put my rotten bottom system up, clip it in, get it out there. Hopefully we can get a few runs on camera and I can make a nice video for you. Yeah, when the rain stops, it's really nice. But when it rains, as you know yourself, it hammers down. So what I'm gonna do now is just clip this up under tension as we've done before. It's a lot easier for me to show you this under tension. I like to give it a little spin. You don't have to. There you go. Push the bead down on the rotten bottom, just like that. And as per normal, all we need to do then is clip our peeler crab into the splashdown. And there you go, all done. All right. Well, I've not been beach casting for only three weeks, which is a rarity for me. So I'm quite excited. So wish me luck. That's the first one ready to go. I'll just put it out there. I'm sure I've mentioned to you before, if you come fish in an area like this, make sure you have strong boots on or hiking boots to protect your ankles. It probably doesn't look too bad on the camera, but them mother suckers down there are green. Anything green in the fishing world, do not stand on it. Heading up the west coast in the morning to find a place Where no one knows our faces or our names don't leave now in my never make it out alive plans are changing rearranging all the time so on my second rod i'm putting out a whole squid as i said to you in the intro and earlier we've definitely got a chance of a ray every now and again this mark chucks up some blonde rays and some spotted. It's not so prolific as some of the Welsh marks or marks further up the channel and down, but we've got a chance. The hounds take squid anyway. They love crab, but they take squid. So I don't really want to be fishing crab on both. So that limits my species count. If I put squid out, the hounds will take it anyway, but I've definitely got a chance of a ray or a huss if I'm really lucky. We've not had the weather for huss. It's not been rough enough. I know it's windy today, but it's straight across the back. If it's straight in your face and it's nice and chocolatey, you've definitely got a chance of a huss here. But today, I don't think I really have, but you never know. And there you go. That's whole squid ready to put out. <sighs> the conditions are horrible. Super windy. I almost fell over. My camera's gone over already. It could be one of them days. But anyway, that's fishing. I'll keep filming. Hopefully, in a couple hours' time, when that tide's pushing, we get into the action. Right, you keep an eye on this. I'm going to take this one out and cast. <laughs> so 
So for the next hour on the forecast, the wind is going to be 53 miles an hour. So it's pretty hard to fish. So what I'm going to do is hanker down in my shelter and make some dinner. I've got my new Kodak, not selling him, just telling you what it is. I absolutely love it. I've got some burgers, we've got some salad because we're trying to be good. And I'm going to knock myself up some dinner. As I've said to you now and before, the first hour after low here, or sometimes two, are really slow until we get a bit more water. When the tide comes round in two hours time, we get a nice pull, then hopefully the hangs and the rays should turn up. Today, we're going for classic burgers. Got some coleslaw, bit of salad, beetroot salad. I love this at the moment. If you eat a lot of beetroot, don't be alarmed if your wee goes red. If I was dying the Again the other day, I was like, oh, that's it, that's it, I'm done. I'm pissing blood. No, it was just beetroot. And then, uh, got some tiger rolls for the burgers. Well, that's cool. Yeah, the fishing will be a little bit slow. If I get a bite, I'll take you straight back to the rods. We've got about another hour, of, like really strong winds, then hopefully, According to the forecast, it's going to drop off to 20 miles an hour, which is still not comfortable, but it's a lot better than what it is now. Just do three. Just do three, I'm not a pig. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is two quarter pound cheeseburgers in tiger roll with beetroot salad, coleslaw and a little bit of pasta. Let's go. We've got squid on the left one and peeler on the right. Yeah, I'll leave you life. I've had two dogs. No hang runs or raid bites. Please, I got my shelter. It's pretty windy. It's pretty horrible, actually. But that's fishing. It's not the end of the world. I'm sure when we get a little bit more water and this wind is due to drop out to 25, we should hopefully get a few runs. It's not a massive tide. So my plan was to fish till high water and knock it on the head. Because as I've said to you before, it starts pulling the other way and it can be hard to hold bottom. And even when you're using rotten bottoms, I find after the top of the tide, you seem to get pushed into snags and I lose quite a lot of kit. But the tide is not massive, so I may be able to fish over the top. hard work. It's 51 hour wind still. They said it would only last two hours and now it's just pumping in. I'm struggling everyone. I'm still trying very hard. I'm getting a dog fish every cast so there's fish out there but I'll keep going. As you know with smooth hangs it only takes a second or half an hour and we can have 10. So I'm not worried. We're out fishing. It's beautiful but it's just pretty hard for me. The conditions are definitely against me. I can't do anything about it. But the last three weeks when I've not been filming, it's been stunning and we would have absolutely nailed it. I can't get the drone up. I can't really do much other than hide in my shelter, keep putting the baits out, winding in dogfish after dogfish after dogfish. And eventually one of these rods will rip off. And when they do, you'll be right here with me and you'll be the first to see it. So let's keep going. I'm a little bit disheartened, but I've got to go for it. Backs against the wall fish hard and hopefully we can get into a few fish. Cheers everyone. 
any minute now, we're going to get into one. As you can see, look at my lines covered in weed. Just can't really get any worse at the moment. Look at it. Oh. Anyway, just wanted to show you my line. It's like a washing line. I'll keep fishing everyone and stop moaning, yeah? Look at my line. If we had to sum up today, look at the end of that rod. Oh, it's going to get stuck in now as well, because I can't... Yeah, because I can't wind fast enough. Oh my God. Look at all that weed. Have we got my other line? Now I'm stuck in. God. Give me a break. I think I just lost my lad. Weed all the way up through on both. It's virtually unfishable now, everyone. But I keep trying. It's not dangerous, so I can carry on, but... It's just uncomfortable and hard fishing. Just baiting up the other rod. As you can see, I've got line everywhere. I chucked a double squid in the surf, hoping for maybe a bullass or a bass. And the rod's just gone over and I've got a fish on. Feels a decent fish. There's a fish on there, but he's took me in the snags. Could be a hass. Definite decent fish. Oh, hopefully he swims out. Oh. oh, it's been a nightmare, everyone. I've got weed everywhere. I just lobbed it literally on the edge of the rocks and it ripped off. It feels like a conger or a hass. What I'm going to do is put it back in the rest, sort the other rod out, but as you can see, I've got weed everywhere and I think my rotten bottom's stuck in. Hopefully it can go, but I'd rather the fish swam out. But it's definitely a decent fish. Could be a bass. Yeah, he's coming. He swam out. Look at all this weed. If I get this fish in, it'd be a miracle. Oh, this has been shite, I'm not going to lie. Please be a bass or a hass. Double squid in the surf. Nice. Oh, it's, I can see something. I think it could be a big conga, I've just lost my rotten bottom. The rotten bottom's gone, so that worked. Hopefully I've just got a fish now. Oh, look at this, sir. Uh... Oh, it's a conga. Oh, you dick. Oh, well, there's a fish and it worked. Oh, he's going mad down there. Right, I sort this fish out. Well, it's not the biggest fish I know, but it worked. There's been no hounds out there. As I said to you, when it's rough in the channel, especially this area, they don't like it because the Bristol Channel is quite shallow. The hounds just hate it. But there's a conger eel. It's better than a blank. Obviously, I've had about 300 dogfish, but this is a proper fish. I know a dogfish is a fish because it's called a fish, but you know what I'm saying. But there you go. That's a start. I was almost thinking of packing up, but as I say to you, it's all about effort. I know this doesn't make the trip, but it makes it worthwhile. I'll keep fishing. I'll keep battling through the weed. I'll keep battling the conditions and hopefully I can get a few more fish like this one. Oh, look at it, ready? Oh my God. Oh, it's a proper graft today everyone or this afternoon if you look at my left hand rod it's got a washing line of weed as you can see the swell is coming from left to right and it's bringing loads of weed and keeping my rods up nice and high but it's all on the front edge of these waves and I can't do much about it apart from just keep recasting and recasting and recasting um, as you've seen I've had loads of dogs one conger eel and no smooth hang, but I'll keep trying. I'm sure if I keep putting the baits out there and they're on the bottom long enough, I'll get us one. But look, life isn't easy. Fishing's not easy. If 
I put the effort in, I'm bang to be rewarded, eh? Well, let's hope so. But anyway, I'm enjoying myself. The sun's out, it's virtually unfishable. People are turning up at the beach, taking one look at it and leaving. We've got some of the ladies international team up there, England, and we've got a couple of guys in between. I've not really seen much caught, but obviously it's just been frantic dealing with weed, waves, dogfish. So I've not really been watching, but I don't think much is coming off a beach. Obviously I've had a few dogs and one conga, and I've got a load of weed look, on both of them. Completely full up now, washing lines of weed. But that's fishing, that's life. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. As you can see, it's unfishable at the moment. I'm trying, I'm trying, and I just can't get away from this weed. It's completely full of weed. And as you can see, my line is like a washing line, and it's just pulling me into snags. So I don't know how long I've got left. There's nowhere else to go. This was the only mark to get out of the way of it, and it's let me down massively. How you doing, everyone? Welcome back. Surprise, we're at a new venue. Obviously, I was just driving back, and I just popped into my net to check out what it was like to fish virtually from the car or the van, and it looks stunning. Just coming up to high water, so it's not the best of times, but I'm gonna fish it probably two or three hours down, and hopefully we can get into a few smooth hangs. Let's have a go, eh? Yeah, I didn't want to go home. I was gutted at the last venue at Porlock. The weed was terrible, the surge was a nightmare, and I just couldn't fish. It was unfishable. I've just dropped back in here. I literally went to McDonald's, grabbed the brew, thought I'd just drive along and see. Look at it, it's stunning. The wind's dropped right out. The wind is actually missing us, and we've got a chance. Let's get it out there. We're at a new venue, we've been here before, we're in Minehead, you know all about it. And I'm having a go. The left hand rod is my competition nagger, and my right hand rod is a performance. Competition performance, my new rod. Thought I'd give it a little blast. Unfortunately, it's gone past high water, so we've got no tide pull. So I'm not sure how we're gonna get on. I don't know if we'll catch any hangs. Hopefully, when the, the tide starts ebbing out, we may pick up a little bit of tide, but until that point, I can't really see us catching anything. But look, do you know what? Where I was before was unfishable, as you've seen. We've got a few hours daylight. Let's just come here, fish for a couple of hours, and who knows, we may get into a few fish. Well, hopefully, anyway, it's real enjoyable. As I've said to you about this venue, I'm gonna sit in my van. Well, I'm not, but my van's next to me. I'm gonna sit out here, chill out. It's not raining. It's a beautiful evening, and you never know, I could catch us a worldie or a doggy, um, but look, I don't really care. I'm out fishing and that's a good thing. Right, I was just cooking some food. I've just been smashed over. Just had a run. Don't know if it's a hound. It ripped off. I'm just cooking some nice food back there. I was just going to show you. Have I got a fish? Yep, fish on. Oh my God, I think I've hooked the hound. Oh. Might be a bass. Yeah, it's not a hound. Can I have a bass on here, everyone? Might just be swimming with me. Where am I? I think it's still there. Yeah. Hopefully it's a bass. Oh, it's just come off. Oh, no way. Oh, just come off. I couldn't have done anything with that. Oh, 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 no. There is hope. 
Oh, no way. Today's not a great day. Oh, my God. I don't know what's going on today. I'm not really that worried. It's fishing, I love it. Just being here, but that was a screaming run. That was a bass, not a hind. The trouble is, I'm not sure if you're aware, when you've got no tide, it's really hard to hook fish because there's no resistance. That fish picked my bait up, ran. When there's tide, it's just got to keep swimming. Everything's tight. There's, there's tension on the line. If you look at that line now, I've tightened it up, but it's still slack especially when using circle hooks. I can't really do anything about it, but look, there's a fish out there. He's still out there. Hopefully he comes back and we get him on that beautiful peeler crab. But I'm cooking my dinner. I'll take you over to that. Let's get this one out and hopefully we can get into another fish. But that sums up today. It doesn't really matter, but I wish I caught that fish. But I'm not wishing all my wishes away, but that would have been nice to catch a bass to top off today. Ugh. Get out there. Oh, man, I hate missing bites. Hopefully, as the tide starts ebbing out, we've passed the top of the tide now. We get a little bit of tide, bring some tension on the line, and when I get a run next time, the circle hook nails it right in the mouth. It's just life. It doesn't really matter, it's just fishing, eh? And look at that. That's what we're talking about. Right next to my crab and squid. Beautiful. A little bit of dinner. A little bit of morale after this afternoon. I need it, but like I said, I've just had a bite. My heart's beating and we've definitely got a chance. We've got a chance because I'm fishing and putting in the effort. Well, today hasn't really gone to plan. I suppose I felt a little bit under pressure because I haven't been out for two weeks. I tried really hard, but I should have given up a few hours ago, back at the last mark. I just kept going and going and going. And then when I walked back in, I spoke to some of the England ladies and a couple of other decent anglers, and they were out of the weed. I was out on the point in the tide and it messed me up. But look, that's fishing. It normally fishes better on the point there at Porlock. Nine times out of 10, you catch better fish but I shit out really. But what I've done now to make myself feel better is just knocked up that. Some chicken, burgers, I've got a beetroot salad, some coleslaw, and living my best life. But I'll take you back to the rods. I'm gonna continue living my best life without fish. And hopefully we can get into another bass or maybe now we've got a bit of tide, just maybe a smooth hound. So there we go a double peeler ready to go out. If you look at that corner and you know your water craft, the water's hammering round, look, it's bubbling back, back eddying. That is where the fish are gonna be coming down from, well, the whole Bristol Channel. From in front of the harbour, to the golf links, to Dunster, any fish that were up there are gonna get pushed down here now. Now's a great time for me to get into a smooth hound or maybe a nice bass. That's a big bait. I'm not gonna stick it miles, gonna walk along there and flick it out where those birds are working right in that back eddy. Let's go to the very end and I keep trying. There we are. Last cast of a dreadful afternoon. Well as I said it's fishing. It's been amazing. I've just stunk the place out. The right hand rod is just off of that point in that back eddy 
plenty of tide. The left hand one is right out here towards that post, right in that rip. Hopefully you can see it on camera. Just the other side and we're in the tide. I'm feeling really confident that we're gonna get into a fish. I'm not sure how many hangs will travel down from that direction. I'm sure there'll be a bass or two, but we've got a chance. We're right in the mixer. I give it half an hour. It's quarter past nine. It's gonna get dark around 10. I'm not gonna get my headlamps out or the lights or anything like that. I'm just gonna knock it on the head before it gets dark, but we've got a chance. Well, all that watercraft bollocks works. No, it didn't. Um, obviously I had one bite, a bass I think, not a hound. It didn't rip off. We had no tide, so it's quite hard to hook a fish on a circle hook in slack tide, as I said. But I've had a nice evening or afternoon. I've been proper blown out, not blown off. That'd be better. Um, but yeah, I've just been, just been horrible. Uh, weeded out, too much wind, smashed my rods over. Luckily, the Tronics Pro, they're nice and strong. But yeah, it's just been awful. New camera's gone over, scratched my new mic. I tried and I failed. So I just dropped back in here just for a little, well, three hours. You know me, I've had some food, put some nice baits out there and it's not happened. So that's fishing. It's my boy's birthday tomorrow. And then another boy's birthday, not I mean another boy, two of my lads, one is 18 tomorrow and another one is 15 the day after. So I won't be able to get out until Thursday. Hopefully I'll get out somewhere. Chesil will settle down, according to the weather, people, and we've got a chance. So my name's Wayne, this has been Minehead. It has been totally shit. I'm very sorry, and I look forward to seeing you again soon on the beautiful Chesil Beach, where I promise I'll catch us a few fish. Good night, everyone, and see you soon somewhere else.